Let's see how the toggle pad works, the thing that can turn objects on and off. I built this in a simple way. There's lots you can do to expand upon this code, actually. But what I'm going to do to begin with here is copy and paste this spinner at the end and kind of recreate the one I deleted a little bit ago back over here and hit run and see that now it's kind of always in the way of the player there. But what I want to add into my game is this toggle pad, which is kind of like a little hidden trap that kind of blends into the ground that if the player accidentally steps on it, and of course I could make this a lot wider if I wanted to, a kind of a nice trap for the player. As soon as the player touches this, it turns this trap on. I notice that this object already has the toggle object script attached to it, meaning of course, if you wanted to make your own custom object, you can simply just attach the toggle object script to it and then make whatever it is that you create a toggle object as well. How this works is the thing that I want to turn on, I just simply attach it to the game object set object setting here, object to enable. And the way the script works is that when I run my game, that object is going to be, oh, interruption, that object is going to be hidden right off the bat in the game and only appear once this is touched and toggled on. So technically, if I reset this back, when I start the game, it disappears. And if I jump over this, that object will never, never appear. And I can make anything work in this way. I can make it so that anything that I touch toggles something else. For example, I could make this uh, seesaw, if I wanted to, a toggle object that is responsible for toggling this spinner number one. Now I should rename these things and make them a bit more organized, but for now I'll just attach it here, meaning that now when I start my game, that second obstacle is disappeared and this spinner is responsible for toggling it once I touch it. I'll leave it to you to figure out how you can enable it to turn objects back off if I touch them again. I've only built the turning on functionality for you for now, but it's a really great game mechanic tool that you can use to create some cool gameplay and I'll let you expand upon it as you see fit and as your creativity inspires you.